Hey guys, how's it going to Pocket? In this video, I'm going to show you effectively how to recover deleted data from your Mac computer. So, let's get started. First of all, Happy New Year to everyone out there. Apologies for not having the opportunity to wish you Happy New Year earlier, but I had quite busy holidays. I uh, didn't expect that. So, before starting this video, I'm just going to talk about what we're going to do in 2018. So, I will try to upload more videos on my YouTube channel, probably one a week or even more in, in some cases. Also, I will keep trying to improve my content as much as possible, the quality, and even gonna do more interesting videos on Android and iOS and possibly more on Windows and Mac computers, including reviews and software reviews and product reviews if I have the chance to do so. Okay, so enough with the waffling, let's go through this video. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna use Telephonic's Mad Data Recovery Professional to recover the deleted files. Now, I have done a similar video in the past about this software, but this software has been updated, being even more powerful, easier to use, and a lot more flexible. Now, of course, you can download it for free, but in the free version, you may not be able to recover deleted files, but only view and scan the files. But in the full version, you'll be able to re fully recover every single data from the scanned hard drive. Now, the most important thing about the software is that it's supported by macOS High Sierra and all the way back to macOS 10.6. Here you have more detail about the software specifications and some facts, like some questions and, and answers by clicking on the plus button. Now I'm going to, have to go through and show you how the software works and how to use it effectively. So once you download the, the software and install it, then simply launch the application. You may be asked about your password. At the first glance, this is how the software is going to look like. As you can see, you have the option to recover everything, every single bit from the selected hard drive or even specific files. For example, you can only scan for documents, recover only documents, emails, videos, and photos, for example, and you don't want audio, or simply select everything. In this case, I'm just going to select all the files and then I'm going to click on scan. Here it, it allows me to select a hard drive to start scanning. So on this stage, once I'm going to select my hard drive and click on scan, this is going to scan all the files in this hard disk. And this is going to take a while, especially if you have a large uh, hard disk. For example, if you have a one terabyte hard disk such as me, this should take probably going to take hours or even one day if you have lots of files in there because imagine how many files are there like millions or billions like it's 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 enormous and also you have the option to to enable deep scan which is going to make the scan even more accurate but slower but is is beneficial if you want a higher chance of recovering your deleted files which i definitely recommend and also before clicking on the scan button, I'm just going to put some files in my USB stick. So this is my USB stick which I'm going to use to scan. So just going to, these I think are 16 gigabytes. I'm just going to minimize the, the, the amount of time taking instead of waiting for hours here. So first I'm going to just put this one in. I'm going to put this file in. I'm just going to put in some different uh, files. Then I'm just gonna, I want to put a song in there, so I'm just gonna type on here. Okay, let, let's put this one because it came up on the search first. Then I'm gonna go to my download list and then probably put this video in there because I remember I downloaded the video yesterday. And a zip file, why not? So these are actually all the files which I'm gonna put in here. So now these files are in here and I'm just gonna take them and uh, simply delete them. Okay, empty trash. Okay, so now these files which were in my USB stick are gone, completely gone, but actually in reality they're not gone, but they're still there, but they're not indexed by uh, my USB. My USB actually doesn't, uh, it literally ignores them. So that means that if I create a new file on my USB stick, there is a chance that it can be, it can override the deleted files. So this is what actually happens in real life. And also something else I need to mention is that if you have deleted file ages ago, and then you have created a lot of files on your USB stick, then there is a huge chance that you may not be able to recover this file because 
you, you have replaced it by the new ones and it's literally physically impossible to fully recover it. You may be very lucky to recover it, but the chances are very minimal. Okay, anyway, so let's go now close to my USB. And then I'm gonna click on scan. And here you got the option to turn off or on review. So let's have it on because it's going to display me all the files in here. And this is going to take some time to recover. So what I'm gonna do is to pause the video and then come back as soon as the scan is done. Okay, so the scan is finished. It took a while, roughly 15 minutes to finish, which is very quick, especially when you enable the deep scan, which takes significantly longer to finish, but in this case it ended up being quicker. So these are all the files that it found in there. Um, there are some weird files and weird stuff going on here. I don't know what this file is because this USB is actually not mine, but my friend's, but I borrow it, don't tell him. And here are all, his all the files. So if you move to the file list, this is going to show you the file list, how the files are structured in this USB stick. And also what we want is to go to the deleted list, which is the, the last button here. Here is going to show you all the files which have been deleted, actually my friend deleted, and also the five files that I put to, into my USB and then I delete them. So I'm just going to deselect this because this is actually selecting all and I don't want to recover all the files. So let's actually, you know, I'm just going to make it grow, that's better, so I can view the names as well. I'm going to grow this side as well, okay, so I can fully see the name and probably the creation date as well, okay. So, just gonna order another side. There you go. Okay, the files I have deleted was actually, I think this is what this is one that was second, that was third file. Was what the other one? Oh, there was a song that I deleted and the screenshot. These are the five files that I removed. So, let's go and click on the recover button. And then ask me a destination to save my file. So this actually means where to save the file. So I'm just gonna click on browse. Then I'm gonna select my desktop because very easy to access. Choose and then save. Please do not attempt to save the files on your on the same drive, hard drive, or USB stick or whatever which you use to scan the data because all of your files in it will be removed in this case. I don't know why, but this unfortunately how this works. And now I'm gonna go to my desktop, just gonna minimize this window, and all the files will be stored in a root folder. So if you don't find the files on your desktop or where on the area where you save them, just try to find a folder with this name, hash root with capital R. Okay, so here are all these files, all the files that I moved to my USB and then removed. And let's try actually to play some of these. So this actually works. Just gonna pause the video. Uh, let's see the screenshot. Yep, yeah, perfect. Those are the other files as well. So there are two things that you need to have when you're about to recover your data. First one is patience, because this is actually takes time, especially if you have lots of files on your hard disk. Expect it to take like hours, lots of hours to recover. The other one is luck, because sometimes if you have deleted a file actually ages ago then there's a huge chance that is not going to be recovered but if you're lucky enough you may find it there but if you find it there it may not fully function but if it actually does function then you're definitely one of the luckiest people on earth so it really depends on when you actually delete the file and whether you have done other stuff on it before ending this video i'm gonna give you a tip is that if you accidentally remove a file Try not to do anything on your computer, especially creating new files, because there may be a chance of overwriting the deleted file. So in this case, you want to immediately launch Telephonics Mac Data Recovery and do a scan and then hope that the file is going to be recovered. But since this file was very recent, I don't find any reason why it shouldn't be recovered. And that brings to the end of this video. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to hit the like button if you like this video, drop a comment, let me know what you think about this video, share this video with your friends if you find this very useful, and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new visitor to this channel and you'd like to watch more videos in the future. Thanks for watching and as always, I'm gonna see you in my next video.